Mark Regev is a senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He joins us now. Mr. Regev, thank you so much for making the time for us. My pleasure. Mr. Regev, I want to start with your response to the comments from several top U.S. officials in the last few days, starting with Anthony Blinken, yesterday Kamala Harris, uh, today uh, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, have all expressed a similar sentiment, which is, Israel, we want Israel to, to, to do what it's doing. We want it to get to Hamas. However, Israel has to do everything in its power to minimize uh, the, the deaths of civilians. What is your response to that, to that criticism and to that word of caution? Well, we embrace those sentiments uh, as we pursue Hamas and we will destroy Hamas in parallel. It's incumbent upon us as a democratic society to make every effort possible to limit uh, uh, civilians being caught up in the crossfire between the Israeli Defense Forces and the Hamas terrorists. And we will continue to make such efforts. Uh, ultimately, the people of Gaza, the civilian population, are not the targets of our operation. The targets of our operation are the brutal Hamas murderers who, who, who butchered our people. Mr. Regev, I think what some people are going to say is uh, whether or not they are the targets, they are, in fact, uh, people who, who, are, who are dying en masse. 15,000 people, that's according to the uh, health authority, that yes, those numbers are that health authority is run by Hamas. But uh, international observers calculate that at least 40 to 50 percent of those people are, in fact, uh, children. What is your response to that? And what is Israel doing right now to minimize and mitigate uh, uh, those deaths of civilians? So obviously those numbers, as you say correctly, are Hamas provided uh, uh, numbers. They control the Ministry of Health in Gaza and, and they're the ones providing the numbers. And of course, they don't tell you how many of those numbers are civilians and how many of them are, are combatants, how many are, 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 are intentional targets of the IDF. In other words, the Hamas terrorists themselves they would have you believe that they're all civilians. And obviously that's that's not true. But you asked a second question. You said, uh, what are we doing to prevent uh, to prevent that sort of thing? And so from the very beginning, the most important thing that we've been doing is urging civilians to get out of uh, areas that are uh, we expect there to be heavy combat, get them out of harm's way, move them to a safer zone. So at the beginning of operation in the north, we asked people to move south to get out of the, the areas of heavy combat. And now that operations are going on in the south or about to commence in the south, we're being even more specific and we're asking people to move into specified zones that have been designated where we say these are safer zones. We don't expect there to be heavy, heavy combat there. And that's the best way for the civilians in Gaza to get out of harm's way, to leave zones where we know there will be combat. I want to bring to your attention something that the chief prosecutor of the International and Criminal Court just said. He just wrapped up a visit to Israel and to the Palestinian territories, and he had this to say at the conclusion of his trip, and I want you to hear this clip as well. <laughs> 